everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how I treat mealybug on a succulent and an orchid. So what you're going to need is rubbing alcohol and I put in a little bit of water too just to dilute it just a tiny bit. And a cotton swab. And you're going to dip the end of the cotton swab in the alcohol and you're going to rub every leaf. And you're going to try and get the cotton swab in between the leaves without damaging anything. And you also want to make sure that you get down on the stem. Mealybugs can also infect the soil, so you can repot this and that will get rid of some of the larva, adults, and eggs that may be in the soil. And you want to make sure that you get underneath the leaf, on top of the leaf, on the stem, and between the leaves. Get rid of any old or yellowing leaves. Get everywhere, because those eggs and those tiny little larvae can hide anywhere. And so, I'm done with this guy, so I'm going to... Put them off to the side. So now I'm bringing in my Paphio Petalum Orchid. And it's pretty much exactly the same as with a succulent or any plant really. You want to make sure you get on top of the leaves. Get in the crevices. Underneath the leaf. and as well as around the bulb. And so on my Paphio Petalum, due to the way they grow, there's like dry skin. And you'll want to get rid of that because that's an easy spot for mealybug to hide in. And get in between the growths of the different fans. So with this treatment, you'll want to do it at least once a week. Um, I would recommend even doing it daily, but hell, even I don't do that. But you probably missed an adult who can breed. You probably missed larva who can hide in smaller places. You probably missed eggs that you can't visibly see. There's probably a lot of things that you missed, and so you'll want to be consistent with the treatment to finally solve the problem and help your plant. I know for sure that this treatment also works for scale. I had problems with scale um, when I first began my horticulture adventure and it worked well on that and I don't have any scale problems anymore. Now it's just mealybug. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped you out and I hope that if your plants have mealybug that you're able to solve the problem and everything's happy and I hope you don't have to deal with it again because it sucks. <laughs>